Okay, so today I'm going to be sharing some differences that I noticed between studying at my home school, Northeastern University in Boston, and studying abroad at SOAS in London. You know, just very salient, serious cultural differences that can make or break your study abroad experience. So, prepare yourselves. This first one's going to blow your mind. It's blowing my mind. Instead of saying course for classes, they say module. Like, instead of taking four classes in a semester, you're taking four modules. <laughs> How insane is that? Course, module, module, course. We're we'll keeping track of it. Number two, even crazier. More insane than the last. What we call at Northeastern a semester, they call it SOAS, a term. Yeah, Northeastern, you have the fall semester, spring semester, and then the two summers. And then so as there's a fall term, a spring term that ends like at the end of March, and then there's like a testing term all summer. Now you know. Okay, on a more serious note, one thing I have noticed through limited virtual interactions, obviously, is that politeness is really important. And I was starting to ramble here, but essentially what I was trying to say is that based off of the interactions that I've had at SOAS so far, I've noticed that politeness and manners are highly valued. And this seems like a no-brainer, but I think it's easy to take for granted interacting with a culture that speaks the same language and seems so familiar to the U.S., but in fact, it's on another continent and has distinct and diverse cultural values. Number four is super important. Unlike number one and two, sorry about that. The time difference is killer. Coordinating with people in two different time zones is really hard, especially when it's so drastic. Like with me, it's eight hours right now. And on top of that, I'm in a different time zone than Northeastern. So I kind of have three time differences if I'm coordinating from where I am, my time zone uh, locally, to SOAS in London, to Northeastern in Boston um, for like advisor appointments and things like that and other deadlines. It can get to be a lot. So I'd recommend using Google Calendar. It allows you to, to select two time zones. Um, so I always, whenever I make a, an appointment or I'm checking my schedule, I'm double checking those times at the same time and I'm not like going back and forth Googling um, what time is it in London right now, what time is it in here right now, it's, it's just too much. So the last thing is grading, which regardless of at what school you're at, you're going to want to be putting out good work and learning a lot and engaging with the material. However, there is a pretty significant difference between how I'm graded at Northeastern in Boston and SOAS in London. So at Northeastern and really all U.S. schools, I suppose we have the 90s range are A's, which is very good work. 80s range are B's, which is good work. 70s range are C's, which is satisfactory. Then you go down to 60s, which is like, I don't know, not satisfactory. And then 50 and below is fail, I'd say, or 16 below is fail. But the SOAS grading, I've noticed it's in classes. So 80 and above is first class, which is like great, I suppose. And then 70s is also first class, but not as good as 80s. And then 60s is upper second class and 50s is second class and it just goes down like that. I don't totally get it at this point because I haven't had any graded assignments, but I will keep you posted if I figure it out. I hope that was somewhat helpful. Um, study abroad is awesome. It's one of the reasons why I applied to Northeastern because it's so encouraged there. Thanks for watching.